All right, in this tutorial, what we are going to do is solve word problems which involve scientific notation. So this problem reads that the speed of light is approximately 186,000 miles per second. Light travels from the Earth to the moon in approximately 1.25 seconds. Approximately, how far is the moon from the Earth in miles? Express your answer in scientific notation. So right off the bat, they give us a unit rate. It states that in one second, light travels 186,000 miles. So in two seconds, that would be double the time, so we would double the distance. In three seconds, we would triple the distance, and so on. Now, it says that it takes light approximately 1.25 seconds to get from Earth to the moon, which is a little bit longer than one second, which means our distance is going to be a little bit bigger than 186,000 miles. So this isn't two seconds where we double this or three seconds where we triple it. It's 1.25 seconds. So we would multiply this by 1.25. So we have two options here. We can start by just multiplying 186,000 by 1.25 and then take that answer, which would be in standard form and convert it to scientific notation. Or what we can do is we can convert this value to scientific notation first and then multiply the coefficient by 1.25. So let's set both of these problems up each way. So to write 186,000 miles in scientific notation, we would write 1.86 times 10 to the, now our decimal would have started at the end of this value and we move it between the one and the eight. So we would have jumped over five place values. So that would be 10 to the fifth power. And we would multiply this by 1.25. So when it's in this form, all you do is you multiply this value by this value and you leave this as 10 to the fifth power. So let's go ahead and multiply 1.86 by 1.25. So we have 1.86 times 1.25. So we have 33.9. I'm doing some part of this mentally uh, to speed up the process. This is 12. 17, 3, 6, 8, 1. Now we have 0, 5. Let's see, that would be um, 22, 13, and 2. And we have a total of four place values after our decimal. So let's go ahead and move over. So the result I ended up getting is 2.325. Truncate or drop any ending zeros times, and we just bring down our 10 to the fifth power. So, this is the approximate distance from the Earth to the Moon or Moon to the Earth. Um, either way, it would be the same distance. All right, now let's go ahead and multiply this out and see if we come up with the same thing. So, we're going to start by multiplying five by everything here, which would be three zeros to start 30, 43, 9. Now we're going to put four zeros here, and then 12, 17, and 3. Now we have to put two zeros to hold these two places. One times these three zeros is three zeros. And then we have a 186 at the end. Now we add all these digits up. We have 0, 0, 0, 0, 5. Now this is 22, and this is going to be 13, carry the 1. This is a two, and we have two numbers after the decimal, so we move over to place values. So we end up in standard form getting 232,500. So what we can do is quickly just truncate these zeros because we don't need them, and then we can move our decimal to the left until we have exactly one non-zero digit in front of our decimal, so it's going to move right here. So then we rewrite this as 2.325, times 10 to the, well, we moved over three digits here and two digits here for a total of five digits. So we did in fact come up with the same answer, 2.325 times 10 to the fifth power, which is the distance in scientific notation from the moon to the earth or from the earth to the moon, whichever way you wanna look at it. 
All right, let's go ahead and do another example. Okay, this problem reads that the diameter of a golf ball is 4.27 times 10 to the first millimeters, while Earth's diameter is about 1.27 times 10 to the 10th millimeters. About how many times greater is the diameter of Earth than the diameter of the golf ball? All right, so whenever you are asked the question, how many times greater is something? That is actually going to be a division problem. For example, like let's say we had the number 5 and the number 10, and we were comparing those two values, and I were to ask how many times greater is 10 than 5, you would say twice as large. But we would actually come up with the number 2 by dividing 10 by 5. So the question how many times greater indicates division. So to figure out how many times greater the Earth's diameter is than the diameter of the golf ball, we have to divide Earth's diameter by the golf ball's diameter. So let's start by taking Earth's diameter, which is 1.27 times 10 to the 10th power millimeters. And we're going to divide that by the golf ball's diameter, which is 4.27 times 10 to the first power millimeters. Okay, now when we are dividing two values in scientific notation, what we do first is we take the value on the top, the coefficient on the top, and divide it by the coefficient on the bottom. Now this is not going to work out nicely, so we're going to end up doing a bit of rounding at the end. So let's take 1.27, and we are going to divide that by 4.27. Now when dividing numbers with decimals, you're supposed to take any decimal in your divisor and move it to the end. So we had to move over two decimal places. So we have to do the same thing with this decimal. So we move it over two spaces and then we move it up. Now of course 427 does not fit into 127. So we put a zero there. And then we add a zero right here. Now 427 fits into 1270. Now notice I'm pretending it's 1270, it's actually 127 point nothing, but I'm just trying to make things easier. 427 fits into here twice, and if we double that, that's going to give us 854. So we subtract, that gives us a 6. This is going to give us a 1 because I'm borrowing in my head, and this would be a 4. So it almost fit in three times because this is close to 427, but not quite. So now we're going to add a zero, bring it down, and this fits into here nine times. Nine times seven is 63, and 1824, carry two, that's 38. All right, a little bit of mental math kind of there. That is seven, this is gonna be one, this is going to be 3. So we have 317 left over. And what I'm going to do right now is I am just going to keep it like this. This is very close to 0 0.3. So I'm just going to round this to 0 0.3 because the question is saying about how many times greater. So that gives us a little bit of flexibility here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 0 0.3. I am rounding this to the nearest tenth. And then what we have to do is we have to divide our base tens. Now, whenever you're dividing bases that are the same, the laws of exponents say that you can just take the exponents and subtract them. So remember, when dividing bases that are the same, you can subtract their exponents. Now, be careful. You have to subtract the top exponent with the bottom one in that order. So we have to do 10 take away 1, which would give us 10 to the ninth power. Now, this value right here isn't quite in scientific notation. So what we would have to do now is adjust this value so it is in scientific notation. We cannot have a zero in front of our decimal. So what we do is we move this decimal to the right, changing it from 0 0.3 to 3.0. So we just made that 10 times bigger. Now we have to do the opposite with this and make it 10 times smaller by making the exponent just one smaller. So we're going to go from 10 to the ninth power to 10 to the eighth power. Now the question being asked is, how many times greater is the diameter of Earth? Well, 10 to the eighth power is in the hundred millions. 
So if we took 100 million and multiplied it by three, that would be 300 million. And just to demonstrate this, let's do this. We're gonna take our number three and we're gonna write 3.0 and we're gonna take our decimal and move it eight place values to the right because this is 10 to the eighth power, meaning we have to increase this by eight powers of 10. So we're gonna move it over eight place values. So we have to draw or write eight zeros. So now we can jump over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna get rid of this decimal right here. Okay, we don't need it anymore. All right, and we're gonna place our commas where they go. And there we have it. We would say that the diameter of the earth is about 300 million times greater than that of a golf ball, according to the information that was given in this problem. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. This problem reads that the area of the Pacific Ocean is 63,780,000 square miles. The Atlantic Ocean is 2.27 times 10 to the seventh square miles smaller than the Pacific Ocean. What is the area of the Atlantic Ocean written in scientific notation? Now, notice in this problem, it is stating that the Atlantic Ocean is smaller in area than the Pacific Ocean by this many square miles. However, they give that difference in scientific notation. Now, it doesn't say it's like two or three times smaller, all right, because that would mean you would have to divide the area of the Pacific Ocean by that many times. It is saying that it is just this many square miles smaller. So that means we could just subtract this amount from this amount. So this is a subtraction problem. So we have two options here. We could either take this number, which is in scientific notation, convert it to standard form, then subtract these two, and then change that answer into scientific notation, which is what the problem is asking for. Or we can just convert this number into scientific notation and subtract both of these values in scientific notation. And that is exactly what we are going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by writing our decimal at the end of this number here, okay? And we are going to move our decimal where it should be, which is going to be right behind the six. So in scientific notation, the area of the Pacific Ocean would be 6.378 times 10 to the, and we move that decimal point over a total of seven place value. So that is our exponent, 10 to the seventh power. Now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract from this 2.27 times 10 to the seventh power, square miles. So this value right here is the area of the Pacific Ocean, and this value is the area of the Atlantic Ocean, both in scientific notation. Now, whenever you're subtracting two values in scientific notation, the exponent of the base tens have to be the same first. And they are in this case. So what we can do is we can just bring down that 10 to the seventh power one time. It's kind of like when you add or subtract fractions where the denominator has to be the same, like one half plus one half is two halves or two over two. Well, it's kind of the same thing with scientific notation. So we only need to write this one time. We don't add this exponent or anything like that. We just write 10 to the seventh power. Now what we do is we take these two coefficients and we just subtract them. So let's go ahead and put a zero in this blank space. We're gonna bring down our decimal. Eight minus zero is eight. Seven minus seven is zero, this is a one, and six minus two is four. And this value right here is in scientific notation because we have one non-zero digit in front of the decimal. So 4.108 times 10 to the seventh power square miles is our answer. Now, just a little side note with this problem. Notice that both of these values in scientific notation were 10 to the seventh power. Now, 10 to the seventh power is just shorthand for 10 million. So both of these values are in terms of 10 million. We have 10 million times about six, which would be 60 million. And we have 10 million times about two, which would be 20 million. 
So what we can say is, is that the area of the Pacific Ocean is about three times greater than that of the Atlantic Ocean. It's about 60 million square miles compared to about 20 million square miles. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this map tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.